Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a cruelty-free makeup look. So if you want to see how I achieved this look right here, then let's just get right into this. So for primer today, I'm going to go in with the Mario Badescu Facial Spray and then the Benefit Pore Professional. <gasps> Benefit isn't cruelty-free. Instead, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. And then for my foundation today, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And this is in the shade Nude Ivory. For my concealer today, I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape, and this is in the shade Light. And to set my face today, I'm going to use the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. For my brows today, I'm going to use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade Ash Brown. So brows are complete. So now we're going to bronze, add some blush, and some highlight, and then we'll do eyes. So I am going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, and this is in the shade Light to Medium. And I'm just going to take the three darkest shades, and just mix them all together, and bronze and contour this face, because... I mean, I feel like that's the easiest way to do it, is just mix all the colors together, right? <laughs> and then I'm going to take this middle banana shade and... Which one? This one. This light, like, white. Mix them together. And add this underneath my eyes to brighten a little bit. And then for my blush today, I'm going to use the Anastasia Blush Trio in Peachy Love. And I think I'm just going to use this orange shade today because I'm wearing this sweater. So, ain't that cute, right? It's cute. And then for my highlighter, I'm going to use the, um, I almost said Anastasia, <laughs> Wet n Wild um, Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Golden Flower Crown. It's just the most gold one they have. Like, what? What? It's like $5 at the drugstore. That's insane. Honestly, I kind of like these highlighters better than the Becca ones. I just recently did um, my makeup yesterday, so like Friday, today, Saturday. And I used the Becca Opal, and it didn't show up on my skin literally at all. I think I had to layer it probably ten times to get it to, like, look as shiny as this one. How, like, I like my highlighters. So, I don't know. I was just really disappointed. I don't know if mine's old. I mean, I've had it for probably a year now. But I even tried um, Becca Champagne Pop over it. That made it a little more intense and a little bit better, but I don't know, I, I just wasn't impressed. I think I'm just used to these highlighters that are really beaming, like, right off the bat. So I wasn't really impressed with having to layer my highlighter, like, ten times. It was really annoying, honestly. I was getting really frustrated, and I was surprised I didn't just give up and grab one of these, because... These are so good, and for the price, it's literally insane. So now I'm just going to set my brows with the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. Just really lifts the brow hairs. You can even make them like stand all the way up, and they'll stay like that all day. Because I've done that one day, and it looked really good. I'm just going to take this Morphe M511 Big Blending Brush, and I'm going to dip into Smarty Pants right here. This is just a very nude tone transition shade, but I think I'm going to put this all over my lid. 
because I don't know I just don't want my eyes to pop out because I am wearing a bright sweater so I kind of just want to keep my eyes to the minimal today right nothing too much you know just a little pop of color on the lid I think it's super cute with a bold lip mmm my favorite types of looks honestly short sweet easy and to the point right and then I am just gonna take like a smaller brush this is the Morphe E17 just like a little baby blender and I'm gonna take that same shade and smudge this along my lower lash line just to make it a little smoky, I guess. <laughs> And I think I'm just going to take one more shadow just to give the look a little bit extra oomph. Um, I'm going to take the Morphe E27 and I'm going to take Rebel right here. I'm going to take the tiniest amount of this and just pop this on my outer corner and kind of in my crease just to give it a little bit of definition, just nothing too much. I don't really want this color to show up really at all. I just want a little bit of definition in that corner. I am going to take Funny Girl right here. This is just like a really light shimmer. And I'm going to take a pencil brush. And I'm going to add this on my brow bone because this color is so pretty as a highlighter. I would honestly use this shadow as a highlighter just because it's that pretty. For lashes today, I'm going to use the Ardell Wispies. This is like their multi-pack. I found this at Target. And it's only like, what, $12? When originally one pack is like $5. So I was like, wow, this is awesome. Um, this is going to take me a while to put these on because I haven't done it in a long time. So bear with me today. And for my lash glue, I'm going to use the House of Lashes Lash Glue. So while I let those sit and get tacky, I'm just going to apply my lipstick. Um, I'm using the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Daddy. So uh, lashes are on. That really didn't take me that long. Oh my goodness, I miss them. <laughs> so for a mascara, the only mascara that I could find that was supposedly cruelty-free is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, there are claims that they aren't cruelty-free anymore because um, what did who bought them out? I think L'Oreal bought them out. So this is the only one. I only have Maybelline, L'Oreal, Benefit, and Too Faced. So this is like the most cruelty-free mascara I have. I'm so sorry, but this is all I can. So to get rid of some of the powder that's kind of showing through on my skin and to just make my makeup blend all together, I'm going to use the Mario Badescu spray from the beginning. And then to set my makeup, I'm going to use the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Okay guys, and this is the completed cruelty-free makeup look. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this different type of video. I thought it would be really important to add this type of video onto my channel in case some of you are 100% cruelty-free makeup lovers. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave if you are not already to join my S squad. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye loves.